Hello again. Um, I'm going to show you over here about the oil change and, and the uh, oil check rod and pretty much uh, go from there. Hope you enjoy. Pretty much uh, right here we already know about our gas cap. Right here is where our oil rod is. Usually what you'll want to do is give a good pull and then push it back in just like kind of like a car rod. Twist it in, twist it out, pull it out. She's pretty much dry. Trying not to get it on, on the uh, important parts here. But trying to show here importantly that it's dry. We already know that it would be probably pretty much obviously dry because it's because it was tilted forward. We know it's dry because it's pretty been tilted forward on uh, for a very long time, but like I was saying, many moons ago. And uh, now that we know that it's dry and the oil's been black and it's been dripping out on pretty much now both sides, I've witnessed exhaust port and the breather port on the intake area. So only thing to do now is drain out what's left. It's all nice and dark and black. Hello YouTube, I managed to uh, get all the really nasty black oil out and I uh, can see that's really, really nasty. Uh, I don't want to unfortunately spill that out, it would just be dumb. <laughs> But you can. When it's looking like that, it's time to change the oil. For those that are, of course, brand new, looking around for uh, advisement through other people, there's another guy that I recommend that's really good at what he does. If I remember his name correctly, it's uh, Lawnmower Medic. One, he's really, really good at what he does. I recommend him, um, along with a few other subscribers on his channel. He has a lot as far as uh, subscribers through uh, different advisors looking up. Um, but he's definitely one I'd uh, go to. Um, now, as far as putting this plug back on, we want to clean this up nice and good. Get all the rocks, debris, and other stuff on here. Usually you'd want to put something cleaning stuff on here, but I don't have it. Rags. Clean off the plug. Start twisting that in. Give that a good tight. Clean that off. Shake off all the dirt. And I'll get to dumping this out a little bit later.
Now, my next objective is the lawnmower blade because we want to make certain that this is nice and sharp and good. But looking at this blade, we've got some dings from rocks and other things that have ran over it. The shaft looks pretty straight. I mean, it's not bent other than it's squeaky. Uh, as you can hear that squeak. Lack of oil in there. We don't want to keep this thing from turning. There's a couple ways of doing that. Um, you can get something on the shaft right here. Or we can go on the top side and keep that from turning. Well, I'll get back to you for in a second, YouTube, so stay tuned.